It's your post-match pint after Liverpool have gone to Villa Park and taken care of business. Ian Ryan hosting this one, and with John Gibbons, and with Johnny Melbourne. And Johnny, it was one of those games where Liverpool just had to get it done, and they've got it done. Yeah, exactly. I, th- I think it wasn't pretty. It was. Uh, I think we had spells of, of, we played some nice stuff, but there was a, always an underlying level of anxiety. While there was only ever one goal in it, and we were equal for a long time, I think it was hard to, to cut loose and, 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 re- and fully relax. And even as we went into the latter stage and into injury time, there was a spectre of, a, of, a, of somebody ending our season, really, or certainly ending our league season. And it was, a, it, was an anxious, it was an anxious wait. I think it's one of those games where I bet you if you watched it back tomorrow, you'd probably say that Liverpool were clearly the better side. But with so much at stake and so much uh, on the line, it was yeah, it was an anxious evening in the pub, wasn't it? Fucking right, it was. John, it was anxious. I mean, we watched it together. As it got closer to the end of the game, you are thinking, is there a little bit of a sting in the tail? But in terms of how the game starts, it's a mad start. I mean, Liverpool don't do themselves any favours. They've made a number of changes, so maybe you are expecting a little bit of a slow start. But it's everything you don't want that first two or three minutes. Absolutely. I've seen people saying about the, the offside and Watkins and, you know, obviously he should be flagged, but once he is, and, you know, should that be pulled back? But Liverpool have just got to deal with it better for me. And, and I think, you know, the ball gets through to Watkins and from there, Van Dijk gets skinned far too easily for Watkins to get his shot away. And then, and then, we, and then it goes away and then that ball back in just seems to sort of bounce around and, it's you know, comes back in again and then... I don't know what Shamikas is doing. He seems to throw one of their lads into Matip so he can't edit. And, <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and I don't think Alisson's great for it either. Pushes it back into a dangerous position, which which he shouldn't be necessarily doing. And it's just a comedy of errors for that opening goal. And you're thinking, oh, you know, the last few days I've been great from a Liverpool perspective. Obviously, with the drop points and then City winning 5 0, you just think, oh, you know, a disaster way happens. But fair play, they bounce back straight away and, and, and deserve credit for that. They do bounce back straight away, Johnny. And you felt like they had to because it felt like one of those nights where it could quickly get out of hand. The way it started, as I said, they've made the five changes. That was always going to probably make things not quite ideal, but they strike back almost straight away. Yeah, I think. Um before the weekend's game against Tottenham, I was in the pub saying, I'm, I was worried about Tottenham a little bit, but I was also worried about this game because I know it's a long time ago now and a completely different vintage of Liverpool, but I, I remember the last time we were in FA Cup final against Chelsea 10 years ago. We played midweek, and I can't remember whether it was against Fulham or Swans. It was a team playing in white, and you could just tell that our team were saving themselves for the Cup final, do you know what I mean? And we again got beat 1-0. It was an awful performance, really, really lacklustre, lack commitment. And I was just worried we might have a few of those type of thoughts tonight. And I, I, I thought we might have some changes. And obviously, this is a completely different Liverpool team from that. And they've got a lot more to play for than that team did in, in, in 2012. But when I saw the scale of changes, you start to build stories in your head. You start telling yourself stories, and then you start seeing, oh fucking, Alcatino plays for these, doesn't he? As does Danny Ings. And he, oh, you can start seeing tomorrow's headlines, can't you? you start making all these, um, these planning for all of these disasters. And, and as it was, we had a mad, mad start. I think the fact we equalised so quickly and the nature of our goal was scruffy as fuck as well. You thought our defending was bad on the first goal. They were all over the place for, that, for, for, for our equaliser. And so I think getting level... Because uh, th- th- we weathered the storm, they had quite a lot of possession in the first 20 minutes of the game. I think they were on like 70% possession for the first 20 minutes of the game. So they were—I av- wouldn't say they were—they were bossing the game, but they were certainly making the market on the game. We got back—we we got back on, on, on level terms, and I thought from that point onwards, you're waiting for when Liverpool were going to score, and it was like, was it going to be one of these days? But. Uh, Cometh the hour, cometh the man, and what a fucking header from Sadio Mane, by, Mane, by the way. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant uh, couple of deliveries that, that, that led to the goal. And, and he, he's done it at Villa Park before for us, hasn't he? Yeah. Under, I wouldn't say the same circumstances, but a must win, taking it late, going for the title, and Sadio Mane pops up and, 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 and saves all of our, our keeps our, our, our dream intact. And, to be a bit fucking Kevin Keegan, they've got to go to Wolves and get something I'm need tomorrow night. Hello Reds, thanks for watching that taster of the post-match pints. If you want to watch the rest of that video, really easy to watch it right here on YouTube. Just click 
the join button below that activates the membership. It gives you access to the Anfield Apps premium videos, which includes the post-match pint, but also reviews, previews, exclusive interviews, and it means you can follow us, follow them from here, the heart of Liverpool.